In these videos I like to show you guys products that have been working really well for me, that I love, and that I think are worth purchasing. I provide all specific colors and lengths and things like that on my blog, which is thecashmeregypsy.com. I will put the link to that blog post down below if you're watching this on YouTube, and if you're watching this from my website, you're in the right place. All the links should be down below. The first product I'm going to talk about is this Olaplex treatment. Now this is a dual step treatment. So the first treatment you do in the salon, it's um, a treatment that they put on your hair and then they send you home with this treatment to use once a week in between your salon appointments. This product is designed to really strengthen your hair, nourish it, and protect it against dyeing, bleaching, using heat tools every day, and it really does work. Every other time I've gone this light, my hair has been damaged and broken off until it's like shoulder length. So the fact that it hasn't done that yet, and I've had my hair this light for about a year, tells me that I'm doing something right. The second product is this Hot Toddy Heat and UV Protectant from the Dry Bar. And we just got a Dry Bar salon here in Denver. I love it, I love getting blowouts, and they suggested this for my hair. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It smells great, it's really easy to use. It's like a really light cream gel. Um, heat protectant for your hair. So if you style your hair a lot with heat and you're looking for a good heat protectant, I would try this one from the dry bar. The first skincare product that I'm going to talk about are these Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Now you've probably used these before. I've used them a lot in the past. I use these all the time in college and I just kind of forgot about them in my drawer. I don't know why. So I will use these Biore pore strips while I'm doing a face mask in the bath and just kind of let my skin steam. It keeps your pores open and it just really helps pull out all of that gunk and makeup and gross stuff that's in your pores. The next two skincare products are a scrub and cleanser and they're from French Girl. It's an organic and vegan beauty company. I've never used any of their products before. This is the first time but I just saw these and the packaging is so pretty and sleek in these little glass bottles. I had to try it. Now, the scrub is a rose facial polish, and it basically feels like, I want to say crushed up rock, okay, but it's not that harsh. It's a really nice, gritty, almost a sand texture, and it has just a hint of rose what smells like rose essential oil in it. It's not too flowery or sweet. It's really, really nice. This is one of the only cleansers that does not break me out or give me skin problems. It says Rose Lang, Lang Lang? I can't ever say that right. Okay, so the scent of this cleanser is Rose and Lang Lang, and that's why it smells so good. Lathers, just a little, lathers nicely, I think, with either a Clairsonic brush or just your fingertips. It's just, a, it's just a good cleanser. So if you're looking for a cleanser, I would recommend this cleanser and scrub duo. Another favorite of mine are these cotton pads from Chanel. I think they're pronounced like coton, coton? I'm probably butchering that, but that's what they're called. You get 100 of them in here for $20. So first of all, they're beautiful. They have the double C emblem on them, and they would look really pretty sitting out in a guest bathroom or a powder room, but more than just the um, aesthetic aspect of these cotton pads, they work really, really well. So they're so soft and so plush and so thick. This is one cotton pad. It's really nice and thick. I love that they don't tug on the skin around my eye when I'm taking off my eye makeup and they don't scratch or cut my skin when I'm applying toner like a lot of cotton pads do. I cut them in half to make them last longer. So if you cut them in half, you basically get 200 of these really luxe cotton pads for $20. The next product is this Cognac sponge, konjac, konj, please tell me how to say this word, cognac, konjac, um, sponge by Basha. Now this was a trio of sponges that I tried, I kept hearing about these sponges, I wanted to try them out, I liked the idea that these were mini versions so I could try it out and see if I liked it. I love it, I'm on my last one, they are amazing. So they just look like 
a piece of styrofoam on a string. You get it wet, it transforms into this really, really soft, fluffy sponge for your face. It's amazing. So what I actually like about the mini size is that you can get in these little crevices around your nose and really scrub your pores. And I just like the size of it. I would hang it on my sink to dry and I would use it once a day. All of a sudden the sponge will stop getting fluffy and soft when you get it wet and it just wants to stay hard like this and not absorb any water. And that's when you switch to a new one. Next skincare item is the Shiseido White Lucent Anti-Dark Circles Eye Cream. I have been looking for a good eye cream forever. All of the good eye creams are $150, $200, $300 even. They're so expensive. So I was really excited when I saw the price point of this one. It was a nice kind of medium range price point and it looks so tiny. The packaging kind of freaked me out when I got it because I thought this is going to last like two weeks. I've been using this for two months, maybe three months now, and I'm probably only halfway gone. So that's amazing. It is the only eye cream I've been able to tell a difference in my under eye dark circles with. It's really brightens up the under eye. It's going to give a nice, moisturized, refreshed look, but it's not too heavy where the product just sits on top of your skin. So that's what I love about it. So these next two products kind of bridge the gap between skincare and makeup, and that's why they're in this little section right here in the video. The first is this Shiseido Urban Environment Tinted UV Protector. It's broad spectrum, SPF 43, and it's oil free. This is a tinted sunscreen. The thing that I like about this is that it's so smooth and flawless on the skin. There's no shine, no grease. It's just a really nice pigmented look that covers up imperfections while protecting your skin and I love that about it. It's incredible. I've never tried a tinted moisturizer or a tinted sunscreen that is as flawless and smooth and pretty on the skin as this one is. So the Shiseido Tinted UV Protector is basically what I use on my face for every day. And then on top of it, I put this Color Science Sun Forgettable Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Loose Mineral Sunscreen. And this goes on so easily. I'm in the color medium. It's just like a brush. And you just brush it on your skin to apply your sunscreen. The next product is this Oh Wow Brush from Kaylin Cosmetics. And I was kind of unsure about it when I saw what it looked like. I wasn't exactly sure how to use it. But the people at Fluff Salon here in Denver let me try one and have one to um, test out. And I love it. I love it. It's not difficult to use at all. When I'm using it, I'm actually thinking, why didn't every makeup brush start this way, this shape? Because it's just so easy to apply. You're not bending your hand and trying to go like this. It's just completely flawless easy airbrushed application. It will make your makeup look incredible and the brush is so soft and silky on the skin. It's like, it's a dream. The next product is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I was waiting on a prescription in Walgreens. I got distracted. <laughs> I ended up with this product, but I love it. It's so great. It's this little cushion of makeup that you open up and you just dab, which makes it wonderful for putting the make your makeup on on the go in the car if you are running late to work and you just need to dab some quick cover up on. This is really nice, um, not heavy coverage, but just I would say a medium coverage, really nice silky feel, easy to wear for every day. My next pick is this L'Oreal Le Matte Lip Crayon. It's a really beautiful color. It's this nice rose pink, easy to apply in crayon format, perfect for spring. Not a lot of body products this month, but I did do an Instagram post on this amazing scent by Diptyque called Rosa Viola. It is so beautiful. It's a limited edition. They have a candle and some other pieces. This is the solid fragrance. 
It smells so beautiful. It's roses, lipstick, and I think a hint of leather. It's it's such a beautiful, sexy scent. I love this this solid. It actually really does smell. Um, it's the first perfume solid I've ever tried that actually smells throughout the day. So I love that. Easy to travel with. But I will put the links uh, below, and if I can find the candle or the solid, I will definitely link those. I'm just not sure if they're sold out yet because they were limited edition. Now for the random kind of miscellaneous things. This is the first item. It is a little pig contact case from Ankit or Ankit. I'm not exactly sure how to say their company's name, but I love their website. It's amazing. I'll link it down below. Um, they have the cutest little gifts and just cutesy little things like this little case, but every time I use it, it makes me so happy. And I love that it has the little chain. So if you put your contact case in your bag or an overnight bag, it won't get lost. Last but not least is this brand, Royal Scout and & Company, and I have featured them on my blog for their boot cuffs. They have these really great faux fur boot cuffs that you can also use as wrist cuffs, and they just peek out of a jacket or boots and just completely change the whole look. They also have faux fur throws, faux fur wraps like this. So this is their wolf wrap that they sent me, and I wear it loose most of the time. I just have it kind of down like this and it just adds so much to your outfit, so much texture. But it has a little opening where you just pull one in through and it's so thick, it's really hard to get through here. Okay. So those are all my favorites. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.